gosh, what does the sport of golf mean to me? I guess it means everything. Um, uh, when I was in high school and uh, one of my friends invited me to his cottage in the Thousand Islands, uh, basically dragged me kicking and screaming to the golf course. But once the day was done, I had given up every sport in the book for golf. I played every high school sport at a very high level. And um, golf was just uh, was just a lightning bolt uh, for me when I was 12 years old. And uh, you couldn't keep me away from the sport after that. And uh, it's been a never-ending learning experience. And I uh, can't wait to wake up tomorrow and face another day uh, with this great game in my life. So what's been happening in the world of wisdom and golf in the last 30 days? Well, let me tell you. It started off a little shaky uh, with yours truly um, having a little mishap on his BMX bike. Having a great time with his son in the last few months. Uh, my son and I have been uh, members at, a, at an indoor bike club. It's one of the biggest ones in Canada, if not the biggest. And uh, I'm trying to keep my heart in shape. I'm trying to stay in shape for everybody and trying to spend some time with my son at the same time. And uh, I've been getting very comfortable on the bike, as you can see. But then um, performing a, a small aerial maneuver, which I thought was very simple. Obviously, it wasn't. Uh, my face met up with a, uh, a wooden rail. And, uh, you know, if you have any children in the room, uh, you know, parental guidance advised. Uh, although you can see that I've healed up very, very nicely. Uh, this is what happened. Everybody, Sean Clement here on location at the Stouffville Markham Hospital. My, uh, my right hand is still having some issues. I'm doing some, some final x-rays and some final precautionary things in regards to my hands because it's, it's such a vital part of what I do. Um, I have uh, one of my students is uh, one of the best hand surgeons in the country. So we're going to make sure everything is, uh, is fine and dandy with that. I started hitting some balls again this week and um, I've been able to compress the ball pretty close to the way I, I enjoy compressing a golf ball. And uh, we're pretty much back on track. So um, this all happened a week prior to my trip to Texas which uh, was an amazing experience. Thank goodness my doctor cleared me for the, for the flight because the flight was a week after my concussion and um, I didn't have any post-traumatic uh, stress as far as that's concerned. Um, I was able to take the flight to Texas and meet with David Ogren and uh, we had an amazing week. We had 28 students uh, over the course of the week at the TPC San Antonio. Uh, we just launched the new uh, video series for Wisdom and Golf, uh, the version 2013. So last fall, I got together with the Art Institute of Pittsburgh with David King, and we filmed this amazing series. It's five hours, it's completely redone, uh, we have multiple cameras, the whole works, a real professional team. This was a huge production. and. So I'm extremely, extremely proud of this production and it's basically the 2010 version plus another three to four years worth of YouTube videos and updates, all really priority sequence and the, the coolest part is I've got some motion capture stuff in there uh, where I control a 3D version of Scully so you get an even better idea and visual on how the human body works. So, you know, check out my my, uh, my trailer on my website, just go to wisdomandgolf.com, right there on the home page you got the trailer and uh, you're doing yourself an amazing favor by getting the series. Uh, it really is, I think, in my opinion, I'm not trying to be biased or anything, but it is, it is the best series for video instruction on the market. It's the closest thing you'll ever see to having a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me and uh, you know, I wholeheartedly uh, recommend it. In so far as the YouTube videos are concerned, I can't tell you, you know, how much Matt means to me right now. He has been taking this ball and rolling, and you guys are going to benefit from his enthusiasm. Obviously, you can see with this production right now, in my uh, my little golf home office, uh, yeah, you'll see. You know, obviously, you, you've seen the pictures I have that surround me every day when I'm when I'm responding to my my videos and when I'm responding to your emails and things like that. 
the YouTube videos are taking on a whole new life of their own. It's just awesome. Um, I'm so proud to have Matt on our team. Uh, he has been just incredible as far as taking the ball with this. So we've got, we've invested, you know, Matt's convinced me to invest and we got some new equipment, new editing equipment, and, um, and I couldn't be happier. So look forward to some really cool stuff. We're going to do at least a couple of videos a month over the course of the summer on the golf course. And we're responding to obviously all your suggestions and demands uh, when it comes to uh, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Um, the junior program this year is going to be launched, um, you know, with, with, with these fresh ideas in mind. And the last 10 years, many scientific bodies have been going through some massive studies as to how the human body and how the human brain learns motor skills. And um, you look at uh, Gabriel Wolf's work at the University of Las Vegas, you look at Chris Riddick. Uh, his, the book that I have from Chris Riddick on my website is basically what you want to do because his bibliography is so complete and it goes through all of the scientific bodies that have done this research. And they nonstop talk about how external focus, i.e. knowing how your tool is designed to work, knowing where you're sending you know, that, that golf ball to a target. And you'll see how it permeates in all other sports. I mean, I've got some high level, high profile uh, athletes in the world of tennis, in the world of hockey, um, that, uh, that tell me, listen, this is, this is exactly how I go about my business in my sport, and I can really see the parallels that you're teaching. So our junior program uh, that we're gonna have this year, we've got a, a, an amazing, set up and if you and we will do some videos obviously on that with Matt to uh, to help you as parents you know get your you get your your junior started on the right foot and if you ever have the opportunity to send your child here to the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center um, for their for our junior program I mean you can't get a better program on this planet period and you will see way more developments as far as that's concerned um, so very proud to launch that and to continue working very hard on that and that'll permeate through all of our programs here at the Learning Center. What is the most important thing I could teach? Okay, so you're talking about an elevator pitch to someone who's never played golf and wants to learn golf. Um, I would tell them, listen, you know, golf is a game where you send a golf ball to a target. So be aware of what you want to do. That's number one. Where do you want the ball to go? And then start, you know, understanding and intuitively start moving the ball in that direction. That's what's going to bring about the proper wiring, how you were designed, and, and just really listen to your body. Simple as that.